Hello guys, we recently updated one of the popular articles on Laravel Daily.com. It's a free article and today I want to kind of read it to you and summarize and add more comments with new tools that were available now for debugging slow SQL queries. Initially that article was about four tools but we expanded that and let me show you what you can use and why for debugging SQL queries. I will link the article, the original article, in the description below. Again, it's a free article, no membership needed. I'm shooting this video as a summary to catch those of you who prefer videos and would not actually see the article in your social feeds. So the classic thing is, of course, Laravel debug bar. Everyone is using that. It shows amount of queries, also duplicated queries and stuff like that. The problem with debug bar, however, is that it may be pretty slow to load on the page, especially with a lot of queries and views and other elements because debug bar shows not only queries, but a lot more. Of course, you can enable and disable certain parts, but by default, its default behavior is visual with a lot of dynamic parts, which may take a lot of time to render. And also you cannot use Laravel debug bar for something like API because well, it's not visible. So where would you show that Laravel debug bar? So another popular and free alternative is Laravel telescope, official first party tool from Laravel team. And this is how it would show the SQL queries again with duration, and when it was happened, it doesn't show that conveniently the duplicated queries, but it's really easy to see that in the list of queries. And telescope similar to debug bar can be used not only for queries, it's just one of the dozens of the features of telescope. Another similar tool is called clockwork. Personally, I haven't used it just because I used always one of those two above, but there's nothing bad with clockwork. I've heard good impressions about it and good vibes, so you can totally try it out. It does look like a debug bar in a way, but it lands inside of the development tools in your browser. And this is the screenshot of roughly how it looks like. Another tool I've used previously is Spati Laravel Array, and it is not a free tool. It costs money, but I'm not affiliated with that in any way. I was just a happy user for a while, and its primary purpose is not debugging queries. It's more about debugging in general to replace DD stuff in your code. But one of its features is also showing queries like this, and that works as a separate application. So it's not in the browser. It's not on some web URL. It's an application, which is on your desktop, on your Mac or Windows. Not sure if it's available for all operating systems, but I was using that on Mac. So this is an application which just refreshes the data in real time as soon as you reload the page or make some action. So these are the tools, but also there are methods inside of Laravel itself. For example, good old to SQL. You can finish the eloquent sentence not with get or first, but to SQL instead, and then DD the result, and it would show you the actual query. But also, pretty recently in Laravel 10.15, they improved that with to raw SQL that would include all the parameters with their real values, which was missing in older Laravel versions. So there's dump raw SQL and DD raw SQL, which was submitted by a superstar of databases in Laravel community to BS Petri, as I said, in Laravel 10 versions. Then recent addition to that is Laravel Pulse. The primary purpose of Pulse is just dashboard for monitoring a lot of things, but one of those things can be slower SQL queries or eloquent queries. So you can specify a threshold, for example, for one second or so, and all the queries that are above that level will be shown on Laravel Pulse dashboard in one of the cards. Again, it's a first party tool free for using. And finally, in this list, another kind of a new thing by the same Tobias Petri, by the way, for quite a while, he had a package called Laravel MySQL explain and explain is kind of a way to understand the underlying MySQL sentence on SQL level. So there's a website web page MySQL explain that transforms your explain sentence from your SQL client into a readable format. And recently, Tobias launched a visual explanation. So it would show visually what index was used or not, what was the order of how certain MySQL query worked and stuff like that. So this is also a great and free at the moment tool for debugging MySQL queries. So yeah, this is our list. Again, I will link the article in the description below. Which one do you use and prefer? Or maybe something is missing from the article? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.